Good morning, farmers. Uh, what is this the birth should be today? Is a birth on the farm. What's it going to be? Is it going to be a sheep? Is it going to be a cow? Dog? Horse? Of course, it's a chicken as always. The egg hatched. The chicken needs a name. Right, who does this little chicken belong to? I must consult with the guide. Weird, do we have Panel Gaming's Captain Cluck was the last one. Oh, this one. This one's a good one. This one, as I move that down, belongs to Purple Cookies. It is Purple Cookies Chicken Flappy. So F L A P P Y. Yes, Purple Cookies is my sister, if you did not know. F L A P P Y. Yes, right. Good. Okay, Flappy. Is this name okay? Of course it is. All right. My family has gotten larger. Time to work even harder. Anyway, yes, so welcome, farmers, to another Harvest Moon. Episode 13? Purple Cookies, Chinkin, Flappy, I think maybe the name would be. Anyway, let's check the news. Right, the weather, please be raining. Yes! Oh my god, it's raining! Here's the weather's weather forecast. Rain developing from the morning and lasting throughout the day. News time. Day 23 of spring. Spring will soon be over. Can you harvest all your field crops before summer? Try and harvest them all before the winter. They wither. Oh, ha. Huh. I was like, yeah, I can do it by winter. Anyway, it's time for Life on a Farm with Farmer Friend and Jimmy. Life on a Farm. Farmer Friend, Farmer Friend. Yes, Jimmy. Remember what we were talking about yesterday? Yes, we were talking about how to feed chickens. There are feed boxes in the hen house. You just put the chicken feed in those boxes. Can I put it in any box? Yes, but you must put food in as many feed boxes as there are chickens in the hen house. Okay, I understand. We know how to do that. What's this one then? The fairy and me. His story. Chapter 2. I took the book from the shelf as I pulled by some force. Hmm, the fairy and me, huh? Well, I might as well give it a look. Read, read, read. One wish will be granted just by reading this book. If that's true... I wish that Crystal fell in love with me. Excuse me, can you see that book? Wah, to be continued. Ooh, it's getting interesting. Right, okay, Farmer's Journal, begin. It is the 23rd of spring. It is Monday, it is 6 o'clock in the morning. If you wanted to know, the weather outside is really sunny. But rain tomorrow. Right, so the 23rd. Uh, today, we should be able to pick up the silver hammer because the silver hammer should be done uh, there should also be a cucumber harvest, and I feel magically drawn, or spiritually drawn, whichever you want to look at it, to the waterfall, the goddess waterfall. Uh, so I feel like I might chuck things in there just to see what would happen, maybe ten things in there. Uh, and I also feel like I want to go and chuck something in the mother lake as well, because I feel like I'm drawn to it somehow for some magical reasons. But apart from that, that should be it. Let me just move up my list, see if there's anything else to do. No, that is it today. Okay, perfect, good, and continue. So, Tommy, time to give you the old daily dose of love. Talk to me, good little boy. Put you down, good lad. Right, let's just look at the hearts. Uh, three hearts, I'm not sure if that's changed much. War Chick still only has four hearts. Good, right, let's change my rucksack for the day, my tools. Let's set them up. Oh, it's raining tomorrow. What day is tomorrow? Oh, typical. No, we'll talk about that later, but it's not a very good day for raining tomorrow. I could have rained any other day apart from tomorrow. Because, well, no, no, there's no reason. Oh, there is a reason for tomorrow, I suppose. Oh, well. Anyway, so what do I need? I need that, and then I'll need that to dig up some stuff for people to sell. Uh, and then I'll need the axe chopped down, that for tonight, and that to water. So that's what I need. Perfect. No, I need to get rid of something because I'm going to get my thingy bob out, aren't I? My silver hammer from Sibara. So I'll put that out there. We'll collect that later. All right, good, Tommy. Off we go. Don't pee in the house. I'm going to have a cup of tea if it's not already too hot. I really want that cup of tea. But I think it's too hot. Good morning, Warchick. And Flappy. And Cap Cluck. And Nick. Anyway, cup of tea, see if it's hot. It's very hot. But I had to have it. it tastes minty. Minty. I don't have minty tea. There, there, Shadow. Grow up fast. And then you can soon be my valiant steed. You can ride me everywhere around here. It's a bit of spittle on my pop shield. Get rid of that. Right, yeah. So on my practice run, uh, I did it hopefully... Oh, look, the cucumber harvest is in. On uh, my practice run, I did manage to get all the way up to the end of spring. So hopefully, if everything goes according to plan... Well, not according to plan, but if everything goes all right, we should be able to get there today because there's a few days, there's quite a few days this week. Oh, look at the little chicken, little chicken, little flappy. There, we put that up there. Uh, yes, because... um, Two, three, four. 
because uh, 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 la, 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 la. yeah, three episodes this week, so hopefully I should be able to get to the end of spring because there's a few. Oh, I said that already. Because there's three or four days where we're not doing anything of interest at all, so hopefully we'll be able to get to the end. But that's wishful thinking. We'll see what happens soon. Right, I'm now going to go and do some foraging in the mountains by chopping down stuff and bits like that. So I shall see you after that because I'm sure you do not want to see that. I'm pretty sure you don't. Time to go pay a visit to Ellie. So bear with us. Just going to say hello to Ellie. Hello, Ellie. I got you some flowers. Thank you, he. But are you sure it's okay? I've got another one, two for you. There we go. Thank you, he. But are you sure it's okay? Yes, and there's still the green heart. It's amazing. There seems to be a flu going around. Take care of yourself. I shall. Be in bed early ish. You know my grandmother, right? I want to cure the problem with her legs. So I'm studying here. Good. Right, well, fairly well, Ellie. Until we meet again. Nipping into the old blacksmith to pick up my audio. Right, first, let's talk to Grey. Just, I don't know why. We're not going to give him anything, so he's not going to kick us out. But hello, Grey. Here's this for you. Thanks. It's important to have friends. Yeah, are we not friends yet? Shoot, I'll do whatever it takes to make him appreciate me. I'll try and find out how long I've got left until they're friends with us. Right, hello, Sibara. Do you have something for me? Hey, the tool that you requested is finished. So, what do you think? Da, 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 da. It looks exactly the same, but it's not. It's silver. So is it in my hand? It's not in my hand. So you can see it's slightly silverish. Slightly more silver. Anyway, so this one, because it's a step up from copper, it does a three pullback thing. So watch this. One, two, three. Smash! Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm not Thor. It's my mighty hammer. It's Mjolnir. My mighty hammer. Right, okay, well, that's that done. Um, What's left to do now, then? What I want to do, actually, what he wants to do, he says... Is I'm now going to throw away my crops into that mighty river or the pond waterfall. The waterfall area. Because I don't don't want to keep them anymore. So that's one, two, three. Well, it's a full, it's a full stack, so just fill just fill up my rucksack. Right, there we go. That's five. That's right, so I'm gonna take these take these five to the goddess waterfall. I'm gonna throw them in. Why? Because I I feel like I must. Apparently it's a apparently it's a tradition that uh, the villagers do. I don't know why. They didn't say it would tell me why, but uh, we're about to find out, so... It's a magical waterfall-looking place. Let's throw one in. Here we go! <gasps> What's happening? It's a lady! Well, if it isn't JD, how do I know your name? That's just the way I am. Thank you for your offering. What are you? <gasps> Is she the goddess of the waterfall? The harvest goddess? <gasps> she is. Well, if this isn't JD again, thank you for your offering. Great. Do you want all of these crops? I'm going to throw them in anyway. I might get sick of cucumbers. Cucumber sandwiches. Well, if this isn't JD again, thank you for your offering. Yeah. I'm going to throw them all in. I'm going to throw ten in, like I said. But that's why. I'm giving them to the Mother Goddess. The Mother, the mother Goddess or something else. <laughs> well, if it isn't JD again, thank you for your offering. Yes, the Harvest Goddess she is. She is. I think she's in most games, if not all of them. Maybe not all of them, most of them, though. Well, if it isn't JD again, I'm glad to see you come so often. Here, have this. Eat it. Very forceful. A power fruit! Or power berry. Thank you very much. Right, just going to give her five more, because why not? I'm feeling generous. Oh, there's May. I'll be back in a second, May. Now, I don't think that mucks up the cutscenes. I think you still get to see the Mother Goddess, so May will be like... There's a goddess. <laughs> yeah. So religion is true in this, I'm guessing. Unless she's like a false deity. Which could be entirely possible. But she did sort of float down from a waterfall, so... If she is a false deity, she at least has more magical powers or te 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 technology better than us, so... Well done to her. But yeah. The harvest goddess, eh? The harvest goddess. Interesting. Right. Watch you, May and Bali. So awesome about to happen. Witness the goddess at work. Hello, goddess. Well, if it isn't JD again, thank you for your offering. Yeah. More where that came from. Here we go. And down you come. Well, if it isn't JD again, thank you for your offering. We've had these again. I don't need to read this each time now. We've had it plenty of times, and we're going to have it plenty more times. Yeah. I don't know what to say now. It's quite weird, this Mother Goddess thing. Like, I don't... Like, I said, I don't know if... Oh, 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 oh. 
I haven't seen them yet. <laughs> I was going to say something else, but I haven't said that. seen them yet. I did in my failed recordings. I showed them off, but I decided not to because I was rushing. Well, if it isn't JD again, thank you for your offering. Anyway, what I'll do is if I get to a certain point, because we've got a few days coming up when I've got nothing to do, I'll show you something then and I'll talk about what I was about to talk about then. Anyway. Well, if it isn't JD again, you've coached so often. Let me do something for you. Do you have a sweetheart? Of course I do. It's Ellie. I do. Yes, I do. I understand. Thank you for your offering. See you later. Goodbye, my my goddess. What's, what's, what do you say, goddess? My liege? Holy one? Oh, an event. What's happening? What's happening? I'm not in control. Oh, I guess I'm going home. <gasps> Ellie! Who? Oh, what a coincidence. I feel tired, so I'm going up to take in a hot spring bath. And rest for a while. Oh. oh Ellie! I'll, I'll take a bath with you. Is she in there? I can't see her in there. I can't see her in there. Shall I get in and see what happens? Maybe she's hiding under the water. What the hell? Ellie has turned into a monkey. <laughs> Ellie! I will find help! <laughs> what do I do? Do I get out? What, what, what's going on? Ellie? What are you doing over there? What? What? Oh, we meet again. Were there monkeys at the hot spring? Yes, but I was already in the water. Ellie's a strange person. But I'm a strange person as well. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow, so in the village. I think this is it. I don't think there's anything else to do this. I don't think there's any follow-up things. I hope there's not. I couldn't find anything out of my practice run, so. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping, hoping that's the end of it. I can't see what else would happen. Right, and what I need to do is now I need to get three of these. I'm going to quickly run up to the mother... Not the mother. What's it called? The mother's... Yeah, the mother's hill lake. And trick them in as well. Hope Maybe there'll be uh, another goddess. Maybe it's two places in the goddesses. Maybe. Or maybe it's something else. Right, cool, I've got to get there before five. I think it's alright. As long as I'm sort of there-ish by five-ish. I should be alright-ish. But we'll see what happens-ish. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, I was going to say something. I'll say something in a minute after I've done this. Right. Mother Goddess, give me things. You're not the Mother Goddess. <laughs> what is that? Some sort of lake monster. You're so persistent. Stop following me. I'm sorry, but I've got one more to give in. Give me things. <laughs> Making you offerings. I'll give you a this. Don't, don't follow the little me anymore. Okay, sir. Give me the gift. Oh, what is that? It's a power berry. It's not a power berry. It's a mystic berry. It's different. If we go into my menu, you can see here three. I've still got three. I should have four, but no. One of them was a mystic berry. The mystic berry doubles the amount of time your stamina uh, takes to degrade. Apparently, I think. I haven't actually noticed it when I've been looking, but it, apparently it works. So, yeah. And that thing in there, it was called Kappa. Apparently, they're like a... I don't think it's a Japanese uh, creature where uh, apparently there's like a myth where if you throw a cucumber with your name in it in a river, then you're supposed to get good luck or something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's what it is. Just in case you wanted to know that, now you do. Right, what is left to do? I think it's left just to harvest the rest of the cucumbers. There's only three of them, so there's not many. So we'll just do that now. And then that'll be done. It's six o'clock. Yes. Anyway, I was going to say, yeah. Uh, we've got... Oh, hold on. What are we doing now? Hold on. What am I doing now? I think I'm watering, aren't I? Yeah. Very well. So I did everything. Done the mining, done the watering, done everything I needed to do. Right, what I was going to say is, yeah, we've got uh, Dr. Frankenstein. With this Frankenstein's monster. Oh, I had it selected already. Um, we've got the vampire, who is the priest. Who else was it? There was the... where Was it the werewolf? Yes, there was the werewolf. That was the gourmet. That's a fish. And now we've got Ellie, who is a changeling, or shapeshifter. She can turn into monkeys, which is unusual. But, uh, you know, it's a quality that you, it's nice to have, I suppose. It's the, magic, it's the magical village. It's a magical place where there's monsters and everything. Yeah, anyway, I, I do have to go back to the house to change up my tool selection because I didn't have my fishing rod, which obviously took up a little bit of time, which was unfortunate. But we managed to get it, so that's good. Right, just waiting for all this stuff to happen. 
Yeah, I did. Uh, when I, I can't remember what I was doing there. When I was chopping down the wood, it's just like a little t tip for you. I've mentioned it before, but uh, when I was chopping down the mud, wood, mud, oh, mud, the wood, uh, I did manage to get really low on stamina, which is obviously what happens. I'm getting really slow at this. Why am I so bad at this today? Uh, but of course, when you have a power berry, you do automatically restore your stamina and fatigue. Uh, so thankfully, I didn't have to go and sit in the um, hot springs for a period of time after I did something, which I can't remember what it was. Watering, I think. Right, I'm not going to get many today. I'm only going to get... I want to try and get one more, so that's two. That takes up to ten fish in a pond, because I did mention the last episode we had that little recording blip. Uh, I'll do it until three, see what happens. Yeah, I did have that recording blip where, unfortunately... Uh, I, obviously, I wasn't recording at a time, so you didn't see how many fish I actually got, because I had to do it again. Uh, there's nothing happening. Okay, let's go. Um, yes, so I didn't get the amount of fish I said I got in that little clip that you saw. Uh, or did I? No, I didn't get the amount of fish you saw in that clip. But I did get, uh, whatever, I can't remember how many fish I got that day, but I now have a maximum of five fish sold, which is good. No, eight fish sold, sorry. I'm confused. I'm confused. It was whole confusing, this whole situation about it all, and it was horrible. But I've got eight fish that I've sold. Yes, eight. So if I put these two in... So here we go. So that's one and two. That is now a grand total of ten. So now I need eight more, and I'm done for this season, which I should be able to do quite soon. And then once we've done that, we will start to uh, tidy up this place, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to focus on this little square bit here, which uh, tomorrow I might mention about... Uh, I can't get across. I can't get across. I'm stuck. Ah, help me. Help me. I'm stuck. Yes, I might mention about my field design, like my field architecture design, about how I'm going to lay things out and what I'm going to put where and, you know, what's going to happen when I have to plant more things than what I've already planted already. And I'll obviously get around to that tomorrow. Okay, I can't get them. Okay. okay. It's a bit of a dangerous task. I can't obviously use my tools, so I don't want to lose stamina because it's very late and I don't have time to go sit in the hot springs if I do and I don't want to oversleep because that's bad for business. Right, anyway, I'm going to go to sleep. So I should do the diary entry in a second. But yeah, tomorrow I might mention about the uh, the uh, whole field plan, should I say. Anyway, make diary entry and then sleep. Dear diary, today we met the harvest goddess. It was fun. She gave us a power berry and we had a special event with Ellie. But that was about it. From Farmer JD. Good morning, farmers. As the rain falls down elegantly outside, it makes me happy. Let's check out the weather and everything. Right, so the weather. Oh, dear. Here's some other weather forecast. Clear blue skies from the morning. Why not? Uh, day 24, spring, spring will soon be over. We've had that. Okay, farmer friend, life on a farm with farmer friend and Jimmy. Farmer friend, farmer friend. Yes, Jimmy. How do I get the chickens feed? Oh, yes. All I mentioned yesterday was putting feed in the feed boxes. Well, there is a feed spout in the hell house. If you press the X button in front of it, you can get chicken feed. Why, you do the same thing to get fodder in the barn. Oh, good. Now I can feed my chickens from tomorrow. So far as you've been doing it is letting them outside, right? Right. Confused. Very well. What is this? If it's Tuesday, then it's time for the delicious hour. In this cooking program, I, your host, Naldo, introduce a new dish every week. Today's dish is rice omelette. Ingredients, egg, milk, oil, rice ball. You can add various other ingredients if you want. Utensils, frying pan. If you use a whisk, the eggs will be fluffy and taste better. Ton, 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 ding, finished. Let's give it a taste. Munch, 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 munch. Mmm, delicious. See you next week. Oh, I love the cooking hour. Anyway, it's time for the Farmer's Journal. Begin. It is the 24th of spring, it is a Tuesday, it is 6 o'clock in the morning, and the weather outside is delightfully raining, which is good. Right, so it's the 24th, as I said. So today we should have the turnip harvest, so we'll have to harvest that. Uh, but I also want to save 10 turnips for the goddess, which we should do tomorrow, because we can't do today. I was going to do it today, but we can't do it today because it's raining. It has to be on a sunny day, I think. I'm not going to take any chances, so we'll do that tomorrow. But we'll leave them on the field, because I don't have to get the turnip seeds until tomorrow, because if I do it sooner, then... Uh, well, I don't know why. I'm just going to do it tomorrow instead. Not sure why. I just am. So what my guide says. Right, but that's that done. Good. Is there anything to do? And do we actually need to go and get some chicken feed? I don't. I'll get chicken feed tomorrow. Right, anyway. My toolkit should be done already because I planned ahead yesterday at night. I've got my brush, hoe to dig, axe to chop, that to cut grass, which I don't really need to cut grass, but I will anyway. Uh, and my fishing rod for later tonight. So it should all be good. Let's go and talk to Tommy. Give us a hug, Tommy. Ah, oh, good morning to you, little puppy. How are you, sir? Do you love me yet? Do you not love me? I do these things for you to love me. How many hearts do you have? You have three, which is good. 
three hearts. And Shadow has two. Have we seen two hearts yet for Shadow? Not sure, but we have two hearts for Shadow, which is good. Right, do I need to keep anything in today? Don't. Thank you, Warchick. In fact, when when does my chicken grow up? I do know that at some point before the end of spring, two chickens grow up. I'm not sure when Nick will become an adult. <gasps> he is an adult today! Yeah, there you go. Look, Nick is a proper full-grown chicken. We'll have a look in there when we get to see two of them. We'll just brush Shadow first. There, there, Shadow. Grow up fast, you lucky little horse. You get a lovely roof over your head. You sort of get fed daily, I guess. You get brushed, you get talked to. What more can a horse want? Maybe some other horses. But yeah, look, the horse turnips are done, so that's good. Let's just go and say hello to the chickens, the warrior chickens. Into the barracks, shall we say this is. Oh, good morning, chickens. I'd like you all to welcome the now fully grown chicken, Nick. I think this is Nick. It is. See, I, I've got a natural gift at looking at which one is which. But yeah, this one is Nick. All hail the mighty chicken. Tomorrow or the next day he will start laying eggs. Or she will start laying eggs, sorry. My apologies, madame. Yeah. And I've got an egg. Uh, I usually go and put these up in this to make them spa boiled eggs. I'm not going to do that anymore. There's, there's no point. And I'm... I have had the unfortunate mistake of actually breaking things with that, with that uh, produce bin. So if you obviously throw it on the floor, it breaks. Uh, that's happened a few times in my practice run, so I'm going to make sure I do it properly this time and not get them broken. Because I don't want them to break. I want them to stay alive. There we go. That's the chicken's fed. Right, I want to go forage and I'll have to see you later. I don't think there's anything else to keep in. Time for the daily dose of Ellie. Hello, Ellie. Are you a shapeshifter? You turned into a monkey yesterday. Unless it was some sort of cunning plan that you had. I'm not sure, but anyway, I got a flower for you. Thank you. Hee <laughs> but are you sure it's okay? It is okay. You can have as many flowers as you want. Anything for you. Thank you. Hee <laughs> but are you sure it's okay? Was... <laughs> Would it be high at the end? I talked to her. There seems to be a fool going round. Take care of yourself. <laughs> it's more like Glados. <laughs> you know my grandmother, right? I want to cure the problem with her legs. You have failed. <laughs> so I'm studying here. Oh dear. Sorry, just having a bit of fun. Right, on to, onwards and upwards. Back on the farm time. Back on the farm time. Back on the farm time. Back on the farm, right. Okay, so I did say I want to keep ten of these. Oh, that's a thing now. I need to get rid of these. Oh, I'll be glad when I've got all these fish and I can start to actually focus on things. Right, so if there's eight on there, so eight, eight nine, ten. So I'll leave... Yeah, I'll leave the two that are on those sort of sticky out bits. And I'll, for them, I'll give them to the goddess tomorrow when it's not raining. And I'll just harvest the rest of them, so it's pretty good. That's nice, that is, them. Interesting at all. Not at all. I'm just saying words and hope they mean sense, but they don't mean sense because I've not actually got good grammar at the moment because I'm saying mean sense and it's supposed to see... I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to give up. I'm going to harvest. That's what I need to do. I've got a green thumb, not a pen hand. Is that what they call it? I don't know. Sil silver tongue? A silver tongue, I suppose you could say. I've got a, three, a green thumb, but not a silver tongue. What else is there? There's a green thumb, a silver tongue, yellow belly, so a yellow belly. Uh, what else is there? I suppose green with envy, I suppose. That doesn't really... No, no. Uh, that's not one of them. It's got to be more. Cold feet is not really one either. I suppose it's more of a, a feeling. Like it's not, it's not more than a feeling. What else have we got? Is there anything else? That's interesting. Can you think of anybody like that? I think that's quite cool, that is. Green thumb, silver tongue, yellow belly. There's got to be more. Blue something? Something blue, I think. It means cold. But I, can't, I don't know what... I don't know what appendix... It, appendix, appendix... Oh, I, I, th I can think of one, actually. It's rather rude, but it is blue. It's something It's something blue, and it's quite, it's quite rude, so I won't say it. But There's definitely one other one. But I'm not going to say that, as I keep saying. Right, yeah, just, just harvesting. Like I said, I like to keep these harvesting because it's like we spend a lot of time tending to our crops. It's nice to actually see the, the yield of them. And that is all of them, actually, so that's perfect. Good stuff. And it's all before five o'clock, so what's his face should come round, Zach. He should pick them up, give me my money, and he'll take them to the channel where we can create lovely meals for all of you. Right, while we're waiting, I'll go and stand here on the bridge. My bridge. I dig the produce that's in the bit. Good for you. Right, I'm now going to go and dig. Maybe sit in a, in a pool, I'm not sure. Oh, look at the little chicks. Little flappy and little Captain Clark. They're all sort of cuddled up together. Oh, no, he's woken up. Oh, bless him. 
or her, I suppose they're hers, aren't they? They are females. I don't think we have any male chickens, unfortunately, because they all lay eggs. Right, anyway, let's carry on with this stuff then, shall we? I think it's probably going to be three days until Captain Cluck uh, grows up into a full-grown chicken. So obviously, say, once Nick hatched, we put an egg on, it was another three days till he hatched. So I'm guessing it'll be another three days until uh, he becomes, she becomes, uh, a fully-grown chicken. Or a hen, should we say, a hen. Uh, and then I'm guessing Flappy will also grow up in six days. And then the next last one will grow up in another three days after that. Uh, because, of course, if you think about it, uh, we can only have five chickens at the moment. Because of our little chicken coop. It's only a small little chicken coop. It'll grow up later and we can get some more chickens. We can have a maximum of ten. So we'll have to wait for more of them. But obviously, yeah, animal adoption is still going on. You can still have a chicken. I have got ten names. Uh, but some of them, I've got like, I've got, like three or two. Uh, 40k Warrior Man has like three or two. So if you want any more, just let me know. And obviously, try and make it fair for everybody. Like, Say, for example, if Nick asks for another one, Nick Pro, uh, he could have two, and then 40k Warrior Man can have two, and I can have two. And, yeah, we'll go around like that and see what happens. Just see. If you want if you want a chicken, obviously time is running out. We have still got cheap, sheep and cows to have, though. I don't want a tin can. I want some fish. I want to get five today, because then we'll have 15. Wow, that was a... Should have known. I wasn't paying attention. And it was still caught hit, so it was obviously not going to be a fish, was it? Yeah. Yeah, I want to try and get five if I can. But I can't see that happening so far. I haven't even caught one yet. Let's try, let's try focus. Maybe that's why I'm not doing very well. Oh. It's frustrating. I don't like it. It's that bloody capper. He scared off all the fish. You little green man. It'd be cool if you catch him. <laughs> It'd be like flapping around like a fish. Like, bub, 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 bub. I wonder if that's why he's green, because he eats all the cucumbers. Come on, fish. I'm going to try and get to 18. Oh, bloody branches. I'm chicken them because I want fifth, I want I want five fish. I'm not going to get any of this right. Very sad. Oh, I got a fish. I still got it. I wasn't paying attention. I got one. Good. Yeah, I was going to say, if you, if you want me to cut fishing out, let me know. Obviously, I keep it in because for some reason I feel like you might want to watch it. Please check the computer. Computer. Computer's fine. Computer's fine. That's good. Gotcha. Got another fish. That's two. Three more. Come on. Even if it's a small one, I don't care on the size. Just bring me the amphibious. Not amphibious. Not amphibious, are they? Marine. Marine animal. Is it a marine animal? Would you call a fish a marine animal? It is a marine animal, isn't it? Because it lives in the water, yes. But the way I think about it is when you say marine animal, I feel like it's more like a marine mammal. Like a dugon or something. Dugon's not an animal, is it? What am I thinking of? A sea cow. What's a sea cow called? Dugon? No, that's a Pokemon. What's it called? What's a sea cow? Manatee! That's it. It's a sea mammal. It's a marine mammal. See? I know some stuff. Oh, five fish. Fantastic. I'm happy at that. Praise the fish lord. Right, let's go and sell these fish. Because, you know, Fishworth and Chipson have a full team at the moment. They're a small business at the moment. They can only have a maximum of 18 customers, like, uh, employees at this moment in time. But they're thinking of expanding. Maybe summertime. Get some more, you know, summer staff in. Seasonal temps and stuff. So yeah, so we're going to sell these now. It's a bit like, it's, it sounds bad. I didn't harvest. I just yes I, yes, I did. I'm an idiot. Oh, that was horrible. That was terrifying. Oh dear. I look. I saw the heart. The turnips down there. I was like, oh no, I didn't harvest. And then I realised I'm keeping them for another day. So yeah, I am harvesting. Right. So what can I do? I've got 15. I only need three more fish, which I'll do them tomorrow, hopefully, and they'll be done. Uh, I guess we'll just tidy up the farm for now. I don't really want to use my tools. That seems like a bad move. So we'll just look around. Have I got my hammer with me? I don't have my hammer with me. I don't do I know. That's a shame. I was going to say, I'll break down some stuff. Uh, if I actually look at my map, just to see what we've got in that squarey area. I know, I, I did promise I want to talk to you about my field plan. Right, so I'll just open it up. I've written it, drawn, drawn it out on some square paper. So this area here, you can see, which is encompassed by the rock wall, the rock wall of the twin tree. That right there is going to house crops, apart from one or two, two uh, flower pits or plots. 
And by the way, when I say one, I mean a square of three by three. So a nine grid, a nine square. Uh, so we're going to have crops going all the way down here. And then at the bottom here, we're going to have two just here. And it's going to run across here, the flower fields. And we're going to have a few down there. And then we're going to have some grass over here. And that's how it's going to work. So obviously the rock wall enc enc uh, encompasses... Is that the right word? Encompasses my crops. Right, but anyway, let's have a look at this. I've got some branches down there I want to try and move over to here. I'm trying to move everything around so that when I've finished f fishing, I can simply easily just clear up this place. Like, I'm going to spend my time breaking down these stumps, breaking down these stones, which I'll show you the silver hammer later. And uh, obviously cut down all this grass and everything and break down branches and just branch out, mate. Well, branch out, get it? And I'll also uh, probably h tilt the field as well so that that's ready for when we need it so it's like a fully upgraded and everything field. Good, but white. Let's carry on. Let's go and get those branches I saw. If I can break out of here. I'm imprisoned! I need to break out of here. There we go. Right, was these them? I don't think these were them, but I need, I've got a space for five, so I'll take them anyway. These were the ones I saw. These are in my crop square. That's it, right. We'll take these, and we'll put them with the rest. Here we go. And this will obviously all transform into lumber. Lovely, lovely lumber. Which we can use to upgrade things. Which I think we do the first one next month. Next season, should we say. So we'll do that. Right, anyway, I'm done for the day. Let's head back into the old little cottage. It's more like a cottage at the, mo at the moment. It's not like a... I wouldn't really call it a, like a house. Because it's too, a bit too small, but yeah, it'll grow. Anyway, make diary entry and then sleep. There we go. Make diary entry and sleep. Dear diary, today it was raining, it was lovely. And we got 50, five more fish, so that's good. From Farmer Jeevee.